Now in this lesson we look at the distance between points. Examples. Firstly, find the length of the interval AB if A is 2, 1 and B is 6, 4. Now we start by drawing a very quick sketch and mark in all our information. The point A has coordinates 2, 1. That means 2 across and 1 up. So there's our point. That's the point A. The point B has coordinates 6, 4, meaning 6 across and 4 up. So that point there is the point B. And that is the length of the interval. We need to find that length. We're going to complete the right angle triangle there. Mark in D, that's the length we need to find. It's the hypotenuse, isn't it, of that right angle triangle. So that suggests we're probably going to use Pythagoras' theorem. Right, we need to find that distance though firstly. Notice very carefully on the diagram, it's the same distance there, isn't it? So that is why we drew this quick sketch and marked in all that information. So the distance between 1 and 4 is 3. So we have a distance of 3 there, that's our vertical distance. Now our horizontal length, well again looking very carefully on the diagram, you can see that it's the same distance between 2 and 6, which is a length of 4. So that horizontal distance is 4. So now I think we've got enough information to go from. Let's just focus on the triangle, trying to find D. It is the hypotenuse. So we start off D squared equals, and the other sides are 3 and 4. So we write 3 squared plus 4 squared. Okay, so that's Pythagoras' theorem. Now 3 squared plus 4 squared works out to be 25. And if D squared equals 25, then therefore D is the square root of 25, and that of course equals to 5. Excellent. Our second example now, we need to find the length of the interval DE if D is the point with coordinates negative 3, 2 and E is the point 5, negative 4. Again, let's draw a quick sketch marking in only the information we're given. So D negative 3, 2. So negative 3, okay, 3 to the left and 2 up. There's our point D. E has coordinates 5, negative 4, meaning 5 across and 4 down. There's our point, our point E. We draw the line connecting that, so the interval there we need to find the length. Now as before, can you remember the next step? We construct a right angle triangle, there's our right angle, mark in the length D. Now we need to find the lengths of the triangle, so that vertical distance, have a good look on the diagram, same distance between 2 and negative 4. Now that distance is a distance of, can you think? It's 6. Righto. What about this one here? Distance between negative 3 and 5. All right, I'll give you a few seconds to think what that is. Did you get 8? Let's hope so. So just fading out everything else, concentrating now on that triangle, trying to find the D, which is the hypotenuse. So D squared equals the two other sides are 6 and 8, so we write 6 squared plus 8 squared. That works out to be 100. So if D squared equals 100, then we need to take the square root, and the square root of 100 is equal to 10. So therefore, D equals 10 in this case. Excellent. Well, that concludes our lesson. Good luck with your questions.